What's up guys? Today I'm gonna be showing you how I color grade the DLOG M footage from my Osmo Pocket 3 on the iPad using DaVinci Resolve. So the first thing that you want to do is to pull out the footage from the Osmo Pocket 3. And the reason I say this is because technically you could edit the footage with the Osmo Pocket 3 connected but this is not ideal as it would start draining your battery to start charging the Osmo Pocket 3's uh, battery. So once you've transferred the footage from the Osmo Pocket 3 into the internal storage of your iPad, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna open um, DaVinci and I'm gonna start recording my screen so that you can see that as well. And you're gonna go ahead and import the footage that you just moved into the internal storage. As you can see, I have a folder uh, named videos for DaVinci and I'm gonna import three videos for the sake of this example. So um, I'm gonna change the timeline settings so that it matches the footage that we just imported and I'm gonna long press one of them. I'm gonna drag and drop it into the timeline. Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and open your color grading tab. As you can see, we already have one node automatically created. We're gonna go ahead and create three more. I'm gonna organize it like this. Um, this is just a matter of preference. You can organize them as you like. And the other thing that you're gonna do, and this is a very important step, is that you're gonna go to your browser and you're gonna look for the DJI d -Lock M. LUT for the OP3, which stands for the Osmo Pocket 3. You're gonna go ahead and click on the first result, and even though it says here that it is only for Mac, it doesn't matter. You can download it to your iPad and it's gonna work as well. So you click download, and once it is downloaded, you go to your file manager, you go to your downloads, you long press it, drag it and you go to your iPad's internal storage, open the DaVinci Resolves folder, and you go to the LUT or LUT folder, and you release it there. Once it is there, you go back to DaVinci, and you click on the top left corner where it says LUTs. So you're gonna long press the LUT uh, folder, and you're gonna hit refresh, and once that's done, you're gonna scroll down until you find the LUT that you just downloaded. As you can see, here it is. I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna drop it into the last node that we created. So a LUT from the manufacturers of the camera that you used is basically gonna allow you to see the footage as you saw it when you recorded. So as you can see, if I hit here the before and after, you can see a huge difference, but I could make it better. So that's the reason why we're going back to the color grading tab and we're gonna start editing our footage. So I'm gonna click on the first note and here's one of the reasons why I prefer to color grade my footage using my iPad instead of my laptop. And the reason is basically this. This gives me a sense of precision that I simply don't get on the laptop. So that's the reason why I color grade my footage using the iPad. So on the first note, you see that we have here open the color wheels and you can read this as your lift being your shadows, your gamma, your mid-tones, and your gain, your highlights. The offset is an overall setting that we're not gonna touch for the sake of this video. And we're gonna go ahead and start tweaking the shadows. I like them a little darker. Minus three looks great. The mid-tones, I like them a little darker as well. I think they're gonna make the highlights pop a little bit better. And the highlights, I think I'm gonna raise them a little bit. I think around 1.05 is gonna make it look better. So we're gonna go ahead and open the editing tab. And as you can see, the before and after, that makes a huge difference. Now, we can improve this a little bit by tweaking the HDR settings. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the second note and you're gonna click here where it says HDR. On HDR, what I like to do is to raise a little bit the saturation, but just a little bit. And by the way, guys, this is just 
a matter of preference it all comes down to your editing style and your preference as i said i think that looks great i'm gonna leave it like that and i'm gonna go ahead and start editing on the third note on the third note we're gonna go back to our color wheels and we're gonna click here where it says lock why we did that um if you see here on the bottom left corner you're gonna see where it says mid details and you can tweak that so this is basically gonna give us a little bit of sharpness you could say if you raise it and i like my videos to look a little bit sharp so that you can see for example the details of this cover so i'm gonna raise it around 35 i think looks good 35.5 let me go back to our timeline full screen you could see it looks a little bit better i think that looks great we can see the before and after now we're done with the color grading tab i think that looks great and this b-roll footage is ready to be used so all that is left is to apply all the changes that we made to this footage into the other two videos that we imported in the beginning of this video so we're gonna go ahead and open our editing tab we're gonna make it look a little bit smaller and we're gonna go ahead and import both videos into the timeline by the way if you want a short video on how i activated those tabs just let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to squeeze all the information into a YouTube short or a TikTok video, less than a minute video. So uh, once you have your footage into the timeline, you're going to long press the footage in which you made the changes to the color grading settings. You're going to click copy. You're going to select the other two videos. You're going to long press and you're going to select paste attributes. Now, right here in the middle column, you will see where it says color correction. You make sure to mark that and you click apply. And now you will be able to see both videos have the color grading changes that we made on the first one applied. So basically that's a fast way to color grade your videos. This is super useful. If you're starting to grade and you don't have a powerful computer but you have an iPad in which you can use DaVinci, you can start color grading your footage using your iPad. Again, it's all a matter of preference how your footage is going to look in the end, but this is how I like it and this was the process on how I color grade the Dilok M footage from the Osmo Pocket 3 using DaVinci on my iPad. So as I said, let me know in the comments if you want to know how I activated the editing, the export and the media tabs on the Vinci for iPad and see you next time I hit the record button have a good one